Most definitely. Hi everyone, that's the new Weird Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Jusara Masal record Delta Estacio Blues. This is a brand new LP from Brazilian singer Ju Sara Marçal, who has been performing with bands and recording solo stuff for decades now. Fans of the jazz and alternative scene in San Paulo right now should recognize her work with the band Meta Meta, who have gained quite a passionate cult following over the past decade. And while their work is pretty wild, Ju Sara's solo stuff is even more subversive, dealing not just in Brazilian mainstays such as samba music, music, but also avant folk, dark ambient music, experimental rock, and noise. This newest one here was produced with one of her Meta Meta bandmates, Kiko Danucci, and this record continues to defy conventions, putting Jusato's vocals over a series of instrumentals and production that uh, sounds like it has more of a hip-hop flair. There have even been a few articles written about how Danny Brown's magnum opus, Atrocity Exhibition, has been a point of inspiration for the uh, sound and creation of this record, and it certainly sounds like it, especially given the glitchy beats, chilly atmospheres, and industrial aesthetics, all of which contrasts really nicely with the beauty and conviction of Jusada's voice. On the opening track, she sings with confidence and authority over these wailing oceans of tones, fuzzy guitar licks, and rigid kick drums. The whole thing sounds like it's meant for uh, a Brazilian sci-fi series, and it's always it's pretty miraculous how the Latin influences grow up through these very harsh and concrete pieces of, of sound throughout these tracks consistently and creatively, like with the horns and grooves and upright bass lines that color the dog pile of booming drums and synth sequences on Semkais. Then there's the title track, which takes a folky turn of sorts. Lots of dense Brazilian rhythms top with these uh, very thin and springy acoustic guitar licks that sound like something lifted off of of a indie folk record uh, from the 2000s. The song hits an abrupt end, but does undergo some insane and creative transitions along the way. Then Ladra goes even further off the deep end instrumentally, with growling bass lines and shrill guitar licks and these dementedly dissonant synth hits. Even after multiple listens, I'm pretty impressed with how tense all of it is, but even more so with Jusada sounding completely undeterred to make melodic sense over it. Then the song Crash is is kind of like the banger to rule all bangers on this thing. <laughs> The start of the song feels like I'm listening to a Brazilian 36 Chambers. It's like got that crazy Wu-Tang energy to it that I can't uh, <laughs> describe. Maybe the nastiest bass line on the record too, and Jusada's lyrics are just as violent as the instrumental uh, would imply, talking about acting in self-defense, avoiding a war, but if that's put on her, oh man, she's gonna hit you with a two by four. There's even a point where she compares her fists to tanks. Then some of the instrumental palettes do get a bit more low-key and nuanced as the record progresses. The following La Femme a Barbe sees a lingual switch over to French. I imagine this is uh, at least a cover of sorts because Jacques Ijlan is uh, credited on the song. And I say uh, of sorts because I can't imagine that... Uh, <laughs> The original sounds uh, like this. It's Jusada singing wildly and intensely over this driving and chaotic experimental rock instrumental that uh, feels like something out of the Swans catalog. It is a bit of a stylistic detour, but done very well and uh, certainly a show of this record's very dark and versatile talents. And as if this LP couldn't get any more out there, we then get uh, the song Oi Cat, which has a lot of industrial beats and bass some deeply pitched lead vocals as well. Also in the mix, some sporadic synths and angry speech samples. The lyrics read like they're about a conversation with a cat, which I imagine uh, could be metaphorical in some way, but who knows, the whole thing sounds like a horrifying fever dream. The following cut featuring Fernando Catatau is uh, much more appealing and uh, uh, melodic, more of a low-key ballad, the lengthiest cut on the record as well. It really takes its time building up tension with these vocals that are just 
ASMR close, eventually opening things up to these uh, wonderful soaring vocal harmonies and even some auto-tuned hits as well. It's a wonderful song that ends up leading to a somewhat weak and awkward finish for the record. Corpus Christi has a strong and jazzy start, but it eventually settles into these awkward transitions and somewhat unsettling vocal harmonies that have kind of a cartoonish flavor to them. I don't think it hits the strongest ending either, but points for sounding like David Lynch directed it. Then the closing cut sounds sounds more along the lines of the chaotic Brazilian jazz that uh, Meta Meta are known for, but maybe a bit more repetitive and with Jusada on top sounding absolutely mesmerized. I wouldn't say it's a bold ending, but it is a sufficient one, leaving things on somewhat of a primal and relaxed note. I'll say this record overall is somewhat disjointed aesthetically and stylistically. The song quality can be a bit choppy as well as the record transitions from banger to ballad to something that is completely off the map. But a majority of the songs on this thing, in my opinion, are quite good, and I do admire this project for uh, not sticking to one single idea and sounding completely unlike uh, much of anything I've heard this year. I can only hope the creative production and impressive musicianship help this thing transcend whatever barriers may be preventing it from reaching a wider audience. I'm feeling a decent too strong seven on this one. Tran, Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Jusada Marcel, forever.